So what we're doing is we are um, getting the outreach out there. We're getting public education awareness and training. We're training our citizens to identify human trafficking. If they do identify it, um, who they need to call and what they need to do. They can look for a number of things like um, an older, uh, an older much older male with a younger person and it seems out of place like if they don't call him by like dad or granddad or something like that there doesn't seem to be a family relation um, and the child doesn't ever speak for themselves or in in any case and I always say I always like to tell people about with um, young adults like teenagers high schoolers if they have two cell phones that might be an indication because most teenagers won't have two cell phones they have one that they're on all the time but not two and usually two one is for a trafficker and one is for their personal use so that's another thing that um, that people can look for. Our task force has worked very hard this past year. We have a lot of good people who work with our task force who are getting that message out. We did two poster campaigns and got over 300 posters out um, across both counties, Orion Dorstown County. Um, we do a good job of uh, talking to um, the public. We'll go to schools, we'll go to hotels, anywhere that'll ask us and have us. Well, we wanna get that awareness out there. So I think our task force did an excellent job this year of getting that word out and helping victims and, and telling victims to call the hotline and get help.